Although he'd clearly lost his once sparkling form, when he left United, he was still only 28 years old, an age at which most players reach their peak. He went on to play for a host of other teams, but never stayed at one club for more than a few seasons. He eventually retired in 1984 after playing a couple of games for a number of clubs as publicity stunts. George's lavish lifestyle eventually caught up with him. His alcohol addiction had done so much to damage his internal organs that in 2001, doctors declared he needed a liver transplant to stay alive. As his health continued to deteriorate, a donor became available in August 2002, and Manchester United's favorite son went under the knife for a liver transplant. To everyone's delight, the operation was a success. It's nice to think that, well, I personally been given a new start and uh, with a bit of luck, a couple of kids, and get back to a little bit of normality. With his history of alcoholism, the last thing George should have been thinking about was reuniting with his old destructive friend. But sadly, the lure of the liquor was just too great. And in 2003, he was spotted drinking white wine spritzers in public. The condition of the once invincible George continued to worsen. His health went downhill on a daily basis and he was hospitalised in October 2005 with a kidney infection. Despite showing initial signs of recovery, he couldn't fight off the infection and just over a month after being admitted, his death was announced on November 20, 2005. His funeral, which was attended by hundreds and thousands of fans, was held at the Stormont Government Building in Northern Ireland.